I'm making sure that this yarn is caught underneath this needle before I let go of it so that I make sure it's secure in the knitting. It's not going to come adrift. And then just a loose knot underneath this ridge. We'll hold that in place. And so that's 40 rows I have done of the red. I am now going to do 50 rows of this multicolour and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll switch to the last colour. I did have some uh, tucked stitches with this red which I have fixed some of them. I have not fixed all of them. Um, I don't think it looks too bad so it'll be fine. But yeah, tucked stitches with this yarn is a little bit disappointing. I had heard that this Spot Saver USA style yarn worked really well in the machines. Uh, so I wasn't expecting any tuck stitches at all. I tried on the, the tightest, the loosest and the middle tension. Middle tension eventually seemed to be the best although I did hold it with my hand for a while as well and that seemed to work quite well too. So yes, I had some tuck stitches and I hadn't really expected that with this yarn because it's supposed to behave very nicely. But then again, different colours of the same yarn behave differently. So that's an example of that perhaps. So this is also Spot Saver. Hopefully it will behave better. Let's see how we go. I'm going to go really slowly and hold the yarn for tension for the first round, or first couple of rounds, and then we'll see how we go. Just reset my timer back to zero because I'm going to do 50 rounds of this colour. Just very carefully checking all of the stitches are forming correctly particularly for these first rounds, just going to pop the yarn on the floor. I've got a bucket down there, it's not just on the floor. And that's one round, seemed to go quite well. I now formed stitches. Okay, so now I'm just going to Go for it. I'll try the tension arm. I'll put it in the middle one to start with and we'll see how we go with that. Drop stitch straight away. Sorry, tucked stitch. I'll just mark that with a needle so I know where it is when it comes around so that I can fix that up. I'll keep going with tension in the same one and we'll see how we go. Another one. So I'm not fixing these at the moment. I'm going to fix them when they come around to here. I'm just uh, marking them at the moment so I know where I need to fix them up. I'm going to change the tension to the tighter tension and see whether that reduces the number of dropped, uh, tucked stitches that I have. Okay, I haven't had any more tucked stitches but I was going quite slowly. So I'm going to fix that and then I'll come back again. I had a go at fixing those tucked stitches. I managed to fix one of them. The second one I'm not too sure about, so I will just leave it. I'm not that bothered by it really. Tuck stitch. A tucked stitch is less of an issue than a dropped stitch. So I'm using this multicolored spot saver. I have it on the tightest tension setting at the moment. I'm up to row 7 so I'm just going to crank up to 50 rows and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay so almost there with the multicolour which you can see I really like how it's come out you know it goes really well with the red. The red matches it very nicely. Um, 
I tried changing the tension a few times and absolutely had to keep it on the tightest tension, so the smallest tension hole. Otherwise, pardon me, otherwise I kept ending up with tuck stitches. So that's a bit annoying because it kind of, it makes it more difficult to put through the machine. I must say the yarn's coming out really nicely from the centre pull cake that I made. Uh, you may have seen that I bought a whole lot of yarn and borrowed a friend's jumbo yarn winder and made center pull, center pull cakes like this one, like the other ones that you've seen in, in this video where the yarn just pulls directly out of the center and comes out very easily. I have found that um, that's worked really well for using in the knitting machine. However, by hafting to have this yarn on the tightest tension means that I'm kind of hafting to hold the machine and it's coming through a bit roughly. So that's not really ideal. And I must say I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that that's the case with this yarn because I thought that it was going to work very well in the machine. So I'm on row 48. I have two more rows to go. I'll do this in real time so you can see that the machine's kind of, you know, the yarn is pulling on the machine. It's not going through as smoothly and nicely as it potentially could. And I'm having to hold it down with my hand as well. Although it's got the suction cups holding the machine to the table, I'm also having to hold the machine down. So, yeah, having to put extra effort in with this yarn. You can see how it's kind of, and it's clunking and it's, yeah. Just not exactly how I would like it to be going. So just coming around to the end of the row here. Last needle is the white needle, so I'm going to again change yarn. Now again, I have some more spot saver to use, but this time I have green, the green cake that I just showed you. Um, I put the label in the middle when I make the cakes so that I still know what it is. So again, this is still, as you can see from the label, if I can get it to open up properly, this is still the Spot Saver USA style. It's just a different colour. So it will be interesting to see whether this colour behaves any differently than the other two colours. So, so far the red and the multicolour have been pretty similar, really. So let's see how we go with the green. Just load it into the machine. I don't need a terribly long end here, so I'll just load that in. Put it into the tensioner. Pop my yarn down into the bucket. Hold these two together. Just for the first bit, waiting for that needle to go down and then loosely tie a knot here. And the only reason I know to do all these things is because I've watched many YouTubes just like you're watching a YouTube now. So there are so many really handy, helpful tutorials available on YouTube for using these machines. So watch as many as you need to. I'm going to reset my counter again. I'm going to do 40 rows of the green, so fingers crossed this works slightly better than the other ones. Let's see, here we go. Just go slow for the first couple of rounds. I've put this on the tightest tension, by the way, which is the same tension that I've had to, or the same tension that I've had the best results for the other two yarns. feels quite tight coming through the machine, you know, the cranking the handle, it feels tight, it's not moving easily through the motions. And again, I'm having to put pressure down with my left hand, pressure down on the machine to hold it onto the table so it's not wobbling about. Saw that the table actually the machine came up off the table. I'm going to change to the middle tension, even though I had problems with that with the other yarns. I'll try the middle tension and see how I go with that. 
So I'm watching quite carefully to see whether any of the stitches get tucked as they're coming around here. This is really quite hard to use as you can see. Stitches are forming properly but this is really hard to turn. I'll just um, roll this up a little bit in case that's having causing any kinds of issues. I really like how the red and the green, sorry, the red and the multicolour are looking together and I'm really hoping that the green and the multicolour will look really good as well. Starting to move slightly better now, although this is still quite stiff and, and difficult to use. I'm a little bit concerned. Now we've loosened off a little bit again and it's moving more freely. Still kind of struggling, still having to hold the machine, so yeah. No, drop, no tuck stitches yet though. stitch right here. fix this up. Well I'm nearly at the end of the 40 rows. I'm on row 39 and the white needle is going to be here somewhere. This has been dreadful. Uh, I don't know if you can tell from the knitting but there have been multiple tuck stitches on every single row. It didn't really matter which of the tension holders I put the yarn in tried the smallest one, tried the middle one, tried with my hand and well, no matter what I did I got tuck stitches like about every fourth or fifth stitch would be a tuck stitch. This is really disappointing because I really love these colours. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I think the green is working really well with this and the red works really well with it and the red and the green work really well together as well. So uh, I do have another ball of this unfortunately so maybe I'm just going to have to crochet beanies with that um, but yeah so I will persevere with this last little bit so almost every single stitch I'm having to manually now press down like this so it doesn't become a tucked stitch hopefully the white needle is soon because this has not been fun and I cannot wait to get this project off this machine. I'm really hoping that the next yarn that I test, yay, here's the white needle. I'm really hoping that the next yarn that I use works really well because I don't want to do this again. It will really put me off using my machine, which I don't want to be put off using the machine. So yay, here is the white needle. I'll give myself a decent amount of uh, tail. Put that in there. And then I'm going to do, I'll use, I'll use one row of this uh, bright pink. I'm not going to tie those together because that's not going to, this is waste yarn, it's not going to stay there. And my machine is still clunking because of that previous yarn. And I notice it's not going down over there. Maybe that's because I'm using no tension at all. So let's put some tension on. See what happens. I really hope I haven't broke my, my machine. I mean, I've been holding this and turning it rather than holding the handle. So holding the actual body of the handle instead of using the end of the handle. Um, 
just because it's just been, yeah, it's been really bad. So I only want to do one row of this pink, so I'll just persevere with doing it this way. So my machine is not sounding good. pink and now I need another contrasting colour to put on the end and I have this grey here that came with the machine so I'll just use a little bit of that to do some um, waste yarn rows. already even with the waist yarn I'm going to fix this. I'll do five or six rows of this waist yarn and then I'm going to get this project off my machine. <sighs> this has been a bit of a trial. I'm really disappointed. I thought this, uh, I really thought that this Spot Saver yarn was going to be really good in this machine, but these colours at least don't seem to work terribly well. <laughs> 